What is going on today guys? My name's Alex and welcome back to the freaking channel. Today I got a nice little short video for you guys, well hopefully short, um, and I'm just going to talk about my first drivetrain repair on this truck since I bought it brand new off the lot a couple years ago. So stay tuned, we'll get into it. So I was doing a, an oil change on this beauty just before the holidays and I noticed a little bit of oil uh, staining on the passenger side of the engine, kind of right near the valve cover and where the intake manifold kind of meets the block. But it was nothing crazy, so I just kind of continued on with the uh, with the oil change. And it wasn't until I actually got underneath the engines where I actually found some, some real um, oil leaking. Here, let me show you guys what I mean from up here. Let me, uh, let me bring you guys over. Got my handy dandy headlight here. But right in this area right here, um, obviously that's your valve cover, right in here and down here, I saw some oil staining. So that's where I first saw right up here. And then I'll bring you guys down underneath the engine and show you where I really found this oil leak. Oh yeah, ground's nice and wet. Fantastic. Anyway, so we're down underneath the engine. Here is the passenger side manifold. Obviously that's the driver's side wheel over there, passenger side wheel. So hopefully that helps you guys know where we are. And if you can see, ow, right up in here, um, there was some oil leaking and dripping down the head there onto this actual manifold which I just burned myself on. So that was the first drivetrain issue I found on this truck. A little oil leak and uh, what's kind of disappointing is it looks like it's actually still leaking. I don't like that at all. Huh. Well, I'll have to keep an eye on that and see if that's actually, um, might just be residual oil. I had this change probably maybe a week and a half ago at this point, so could still be residual, but I doubt it. Might actually still be leaking. Anyways, hopefully, um, you guys can see that. That's where I found the oil leak primarily, was right kind of dripping down the head there. So what I did after I finished the oil changes, I pulled this uh, this engine cover here, pulled this uh, this air intake assembly, and just kind of opened up this passenger side area of the engine just so I could get a better look. And um, yeah, it looked to be pretty obvious that it was the um, passenger side valve cover was leaking. That was my just quick kind of diagnosis. So later that night I did some research to see if valve cover gaskets were common on this third gen Hemi um, which it did seem that kind of were. I also found that the intake manifolds did tend to leak so I thought that could also be a possibility although the valve cover looked pretty certain that it was leaking. The other thing I researched into was whether or not this powertrain warranty on these rams would cover um, a valve cover. I figured it probably would most likely cover an intake manifold because that's pretty it's a pretty big job But the valve cover I said I don't know they might be a little bit chintzy when it comes to that kind of thing So I wasn't sure um, If the powertrain warranty would cover this because my bumper to bumper uh, Warranty is up so I ended up calling the dealership the next day and they couldn't tell me for sure if a valve cover is gonna be covered in warranty So they said they couldn't actually verify for me if it was part of the powertrain warranty that the truck would have to come in they'd have to have a tech diagnose it himself to see if it was covered under warranty. But, you know, even though I thought it was fair that their own techs would diagnose the oil leak for warranty purposes, they did say that if it didn't qualify under warranty, I think I'd have to pay $100, $190 labor charge to diagnose something that I just pretty much diagnosed for them. Um, so I wasn't too happy about that because, again, I wasn't sure if it would, if it would be covered under the powertrain warranty. And, again, like, it was kind of frustrating. I just wish they could just tell me, like, yes, Valve cover is most likely covered under warranty, but anyways, took the truck in and um, they were great. So my truck has 75,000 kilometers on it and it does kind of suck that in like three and a half years and less than 100,000 kilometers, I already have an oil leak on this Hemi engine. I mean, silver lining is, is that Dodge's warranty um, was pretty phenomenal. The dealership I dealt with here on Vancouver Island was pretty awesome. There was no questions asked. Obviously, you know, like I said, I was kind of frustrated that they couldn't tell me right off the bat whether it was warranty or not. Um, and then I might have to pay that like $200 charge. But um, like I suspected, it turned out to be a powertrain warranty issue. 
and um, they had it diagnosed within like half an hour. They had a rental car in the parking lot ready for me in like 15 minutes because this thing was gonna have to stay overnight. Nice little Chevy, which I'll, I'll show you some clips right here of that, that little beauty. Oh yeah. What a rig. Yeah, this is my rig until Dodge fixes my truck. Honestly, this thing feels kind of weird. It looks kind of like a plastic rocket ship. I don't know. No, I never was really sure about these front ends here. Maybe this is to help the aerodynamics. I don't know. It seems kind of just finicky. It seems like this is going to break off. Here we are, like a week and a half later. All is good. Um, this is my first repair experience with this truck, although we were just under there. It did look like there was a little bit of oil leaking. It could be residual. It could be, but um, it looked pretty fresh. So I'll have to keep an eye on that and see if they actually uh, fix the, the problem. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have had any similar issues with your trucks. It does look like, like I said earlier, the uh, valve covers and the intake manifolds do tend to leak on these, um, these third gen Hemis. Let me know if, uh, if you guys have experienced any oil leaks and um, if they were covered under warranty or um, when they actually happen on the truck, if it was early on in the life of the truck or if it's a more recent, well after warranty. Let me know, I'm curious. All right guys, you get to see me uh, bumbling around here because my outro clip uh, decided not to work. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, I am genuinely curious about uh, your engines, if your Hemis have leaked oil before, if it is a uh, actually a common thing. But um, that's going to be it for me in this video. Um, this weekend I am heading up to the mountains, so I'm hoping to get a bunch of cool snow footage of this truck. Hopefully going to bury it. That's the plan. But uh, we'll see how much snow is actually up there. Supposed to be a ton, but uh, I've been lied to before by the Weather Network. Anyways, have yourselves a good weekend, and we will see you on the next freaking video.